Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm creating this absolutely gorgeous berry and plum toned smoky eye. Let's get straight into it. So for my base I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I absolutely adore this foundation. It covers all redness and blemishes and I'm just buffing this into my skin and I will leave links to everything used down below in the description box. Now to create this berry toned smoky eye, I'm going to be using some shades from my Pretty Fun and Fearless Ciate London palette and I absolutely adore it. So using the edge of a piece of paper to create a sharp line, I'm taking the shade Flirt and I'm just building that into the crease of my eye and the outer edge of my eye with a Real Techniques blending eyeshadow brush. This is just a nice base and we're really going to help smoke it out in a bit. So next I'm taking the shade Skinny Dip and I'm just working on blending this out slightly before moving on to the shade Daydream. Daydream's a kind of dark black current shade and again I'm just using this on the outer corners of my eye and in the crease to really build up that intensity and smokiness. Next I'm using both the shades Skinny Dip and Unconditional and I'm just using these as a kind of transition shade in the crease of my eye to help smoke out those dark berry tones. I could have done this at the beginning but I decided to do it now just to add a little bit more depth into the look. Next I'm taking the shade Fierce which is the most beautiful kind of cranberry shimmer shade, one of my favourites in the palette and I'm just building that on top of the previous colours we've put down. I started using a brush but I found out the application was much more pigmented with my finger so I'm just really building that up with my finger and a kind of pencil brush. Make sure to blend as you go until you're happy with the smokiness of the look. Finally for eyeshadow I'm taking the shade Dainty which is an absolutely beautiful kind of champagne gold and I'm using that on the inner corner of my eye and blending it out into the cranberry shimmer, not forgetting underneath the brow bone to really add some highlight. Don't forget to also run some of those eyeshadows underneath the lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm using my favourite Too Faced liquid liner, I think it's called the Sketch Marker. This is just one of my favourite products ever at the moment, I use it pretty much every day. It's basically a felt tip and it just allows me to get the most precise flick and also lasts all day. For brows, I'm using my Benefit Cabrow. I'm the shade 5 and it's just like a gel liner but for your brows and I'm just using that to fill in any sparse gaps and areas with the brush that comes included in it. I'm using my Sleek Makeup Twist Up Eye Pencil in the shade Black to line both my top and bottom waterlines to make the look a lot more intense. And I'm also using a pencil brush to help blend that out underneath my lower lash lines. I always find it easier to know how much eyeshadow to apply after you've done your eyeliner. So I'm going back in with more of the Daydream eyeshadow until I'm happy with the ultimate smokiness of the look. I can never really judge how dark to go before applying my liquid liner so this is why I always seem to do this in my tutorials. I am applying some false eyelashes here, these ones are the Vamp Lashes from Kiss Makeup and I'm using the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara that came in the Chloe Morello Beauty Haul kit from Ciate. Really really like this mascara actually, it was the first time using it and I thought it was brilliant. So I'm just using this to blend in my lashes with the falsies and also applying it to my bottom lash line. To conceal any blemishes and my under eye area, I'm using my favourite collection, Lasting Perfection, and just applying that wherever I need it, especially down the centre of my nose and on any imperfections, and I'm just patting that in with my finger. I find using my finger to blend my concealer in makes it a lot easier to move and makes it more manageable and more natural looking. I have recently become obsessed with contouring my nose, and I've been using my OCC Cream Colour in the shade John Doe to do this with and a really skinny Real Techniques blending brush. I think it's actually an eyeshadow brush, I will leave a link down below. But I'm just using that to contour my nose and my cheekbones, also my forehead and a little bit underneath my jawline as well. For highlights I'm using my Per Cosmetics Sunkissed Glow Strobe Palette. I'm using the lightest shade and just applying that with my finger on top of my cheekbones and also running that down the centre of my nose 
and on my cupids i'm so obsessed with this highlight i think it's absolutely beautiful and again very natural looking here i'm doing some last minute eyeshadow touch-ups before moving on to lipstick now i am absolutely obsessed with the giorgio armani lip magnets especially this shade it's the shade 504 this is such a pretty shade i actually can't get over how much i love this lip color it's just the really pretty peachy pink nude color and i'm just using a tiny bit of concealer to define my lips as well and make them a lot more perfect and i'm also using concealer on an angled brush to tidy up my eyeliner just these finishing touches i find really make all the difference to the end of the look to finish this look I'm taking my MAC cream blush in the shade Lady Blush and I'm just taking that on a big blusher brush and applying it to the apple of my cheeks. And this is the finished look. I really really hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know if you recreate it at home. I would absolutely love to see your pictures. Feel free to tweet or Instagram them to me. My links are down below. Let me know if there are any other looks you would like to see and I'll see you again on Sunday. Bye guys!